please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Bonjour Geneva, I'm Gracie Ferguson. And I'm Kari Rasmussen. Coming up on today's show, we have some special guests in studio, so let's get it started. GTV News starts right now. Everything changes. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, November 6, 2019. Geneva High School's first ever fall musical will make its debut tomorrow night. GTV reporter Maggie Kramer got a preview of the performance. Let's check it out. The GHS Theater Program is putting their final touches on the fall musical titled Putnam County's 25th Annual Spelling Bee. This show will mark the first fall musical in Geneva High School's history. Well, I think I've been in the fall My plays in the past, Jenny. and I think it's a lot of fun just having it a musical this year, since we get to work on the musical skills as well as the actual acting skills. The show is a comedy musical written by Richard Shankin and William Finn. It follows the adventures of a group of Spelling Bee participants, and it may include some audience participation. Overall, the show is a lot of fun to put on, and you can expect more fun-filled fall musicals in the future. We're all supposed to be portraying children, and like, we are children, but not that young, so I think just remem reminding ourselves what it was like to act that way, and you know, picking up those characteristics and just being young and fun. A lot of people might have expected to come here to see an actual spelling bee contest, but what they got instead was a musical filled with F-U-N. You can still buy tickets online and at the door. They cost $15 in advance and $20 at the door. There are student and senior citizen discounts. So this week, as you've been changing classes, you might have been wondering why there's French music playing. It's all part of National French Week, and Andrew Wilkie joins us in studio now with some students to tell us more about it. Andrew? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Kate Bushman, the, honor, the French Honor Society president, and I'm here with Caroline Whitaker the French Club president. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on with French Club this week? Well, we have um, posters on all our lockers to spread the word about National French Week. And we have also sent um, merci letters to a lot of our teachers and people who have um, inspired us. And we just want to say thank you in French. So why, why are you guys doing this? Uh, so this is pretty much just to celebrate the French culture and the French language. Um, and yeah, we just love it. And what type of things do you guys have planned for this week? Um, well, <laughs> this week we have the lockers being sent out, and we just want to spread the word about how um, amazing French is. And according to our teacher, it is the second most learned language in the world, so we encourage everyone to join um, French. All right, guys, make sure to um, look around the hallway at all the posters and get involved with French Week. Back to the desk. Sounds like so much fun. Thanks, guys. Books Bites Book Club will have a meeting tomorrow during PLC in room EE188. Everyone is invited, and if you have any questions, please stop by the library. If you and your second hour class want to earn a Panera breakfast, then make sure you bring in books from now until November 15th to your second hour class. Educators Rising Club will be collecting books along with Bernie's Book Bank for ch children from 1 to 12 years old. The peer tutoring is open for business in the library during all lunch periods. If you need quick homework assistance or test prep guidance, stop by the library. Look for the peer tutoring tables behind the main circulation desk. They will be more than happy to see you. Contact Ms. Stiganga if you have any additional questions. All National Honor Society students being inducted this year, please remember to turn in your $10 dues to the counseling office before next Wednesday. Also next week on Tuesday after school, you will all be practicing the induction ceremony in the auditorium. For all those who are interested in joining the girls' bowling team, there will be an informational meeting today after school in EE 191. If you cannot make it or have any questions, please see Coach Meister. If you are looking to saddle up with Equestrian Club, then look no further. Equestrian Club has a meeting tomorrow after school starting at 3 p.m. Equestrian Club is open to all levels of experience, so don't be shy in coming to the meeting. And now for a look at today's weather. The high for today is 52 and the low is 24 with a 40% chance of showers later in the day.
And now here's three to know before we go. There is a required PLC for all enriched and empowered students and seniors graduating in December. Make sure to send us your best pictures for Picture of the Week. And head out to the Viking Vendor for all the new treats featured by the business and management classes. Well, Geneva, that looks like all the news we have for you today. I'm Gracie Ferguson. And I'm Carly Rasmussen. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Geneva.